Hey everybody, this is Rado, and we're back with another episode the of The testing area is just up ahead. The quicker you get through, the quicker you'll get your 60 bucks. Hold on, hold. Carolyn, are the compensation vouchers ready? Yes, yes sir, Mr. Mr. Johnson. Johnson. Why did I just... Who is that? What the hell is going on here? Carolyn? <laughs> GLaDOS? Seems like GLaDOS is programmed to follow uh, Rock Johnson's voice, even to a recording. Okay, this is cool, it, it flips around. New technology, new old technology. Do not have any ramps that get lifted at all in Portal 1. And this is the first time it's happened in Portal 2. Let's go over here. Thank you for keeping the adventure spheres clean. So let's see. This part. I'm gonna paint some bouncy stuff, looks like. Uh, that's not blue gel. That's something new. This is red gel. What happens when you touch jump on the red gel? making a sound. Oh, it speeds you up. Wow, I just ran backwards into this thing. So, what happens if I just run right here? I, that didn't work. Go! Forward, go! Oh, wow. So, Instead of making you bouncy, that one makes you fast. And I was able to jump much further and I didn't even press the jump button. Let's see. We have a portable hole here and a portable surface here. Let's go back this way. Um... Uh, it slowed me down after a while. It's about to jump. So I can run over there. But how do I activate? If I run from this point to the end, and then jump through this, that puts me in the right place, and then figure out what color this is, it's orange, and put the orange here, move it over there, press that. Oh, it looks like that worked. Wow, can just run right over these gaps. Talk about new technology. Let's see. Can I get that? How can I get the box over there? Uh, we can cheat like this, of course. And then work our way back. this box with us. Now the exit's up there. So there's no further to go on that path. Let's make as much speed as we can make. So we make it. If that makes any sense at all. We did it. Remember, do not leave your belongings here. Do not loiter for more than 20 minutes. Do not touch the glass. Do wear a shirt and shoes at all times. Do move quickly through the test truck. Do not forget to not touch the glass. 
I wonder if I'd get like an achievement if I did loiter here for 20 minutes. For more than 20 minutes. That's the kind of thing I would do back when I cared about achievements. It's like, oh it says don't loiter for 20 minutes? I will sit here and well, usually what I do is go walk away from the game and just leave it for 20 minutes. Alright, so... Can I get in this office area? No. Observation area, office area. Alright, so you can walk up here. Let's see if I can get enough speed. Oops. Now if I go too fast, looking this way, I might end up right in the middle of the water. Got it. And the door is open. And I guess I just had to click it once because it doesn't, it's not ticking or anything. Like it has to stay open. And I don't see any way I can get into that observation area. Emotional outbursts require more than 1.6 volts. Now we know that. We just need to relax. We're still going to find out what the hell's going on here. But calmly. So, Glass got emotional? Why does a robot get emotional anyways? Remember, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. What does that mean? I'm wearing an orange jumpsuit. So we could get in here after the fact. These are like hat boxes or something. File boxes. So let's see. Sixty dollars can get you this boat. Yeah, right. Here's Cave Johnson again. Those okay. people in the portrait, they look so familiar. Yeah, Cave Johnson. He looks older now. So. Obviously, Glass has been programmed to recognize Cave Johnson. Re remember, if you alert your supervisor, if you see a Ocean Inspector, Department of Energy, GAO, Undercover Police Officer, Nuclear Regulatory Commissioner, FEMA, Ordnance Police Officer, Journalist, Public Works Inspector, and MSHA, AFT, ATF, FBI, U.S. Marshal. So if anybody with any authority whatsoever shows up, tell your supervisor immediately. Puzzles are getting squished together here, so episodes are going to get a little bit longer. Uh, but we'll just stick to the usual, if there's an elevator, that's the end of the uh, episode. Alright, so we got some blue gel and we got some red gel. Um, let's see, what do we want to do? If we paint this with the red gel. Now, obviously this is pretty scripted. It's not just that it's randomly... Ooh. Oh man, I chose poorly. N no redness coming up like it was killing me. I just downright drop Drowned? Was it drooned? Did I drown or did I droop? I drowned, yeah. I tell you, sometimes I can be pretty dumb. Alright, let's try this. Alright, that paints a wall. That makes it blue. Okay, so... Just knows that. 
Let's try this. So we want some acceleration over here. Now that's pretty well painted blue. And then all of a sudden it starts getting painted red and it's almost 100% coverage in red. So now I'm gonna put that there. And this here. And then just get the square blue. And have I, in my genius, created a ramp, a way of getting myself all the way over there. And there's no portal areas here where I could have actually just jumped in the portal and skipped this whole puzzle. If I could have jumped in the portal, the whole puzzle, pointless. Made it. That's cool. And there's the exit. Totally unconnected to anything. The spheres here actually do show a good equivalency of probably how the levels are loaded. Just a big ground area. But that all this is probably in RAM and in memory of the computer. Let's see. Do I have any way of getting over here? Doesn't look like it. Another light surface that doesn't work. Some of these colors are just too light. I'm gonna use one of these get back over there. I'm gonna try and shoot out of this and over there. But how I'm gonna shoot through out of that is this way. Great Man. job, astronaut, war hero, and or Olympian. With your help, we're gonna take the world. This on? Hey, listen up down there. That thing's called an elevator. Not a bathroom. I swear I know him. So, we did another puzzle. And Glass swears she knows Cave Johnson, which of course she would. Cave Johnson created Aperture Science and was in charge of it probably before <laughs> for a long time and then GLaDOS was took over mm. interesting question did GLaDOS kill Cave Johnson right as she released the neurotoxin and killed everybody else I doubt it because this was like in the 40s and assuming she killed everybody with neurotoxin somewhere in the 2000s he would be well into his 80s at that point it's possible, it's just, wouldn't put my chips on that bet. Let's take an elevator to the next puzzle and wrap up this episode. As always, I ask that you like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of the video. All of that helps me out. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Google+, Bell.net, or Steam, all that information is down in the notes. We are done, I think. Yep, they're not going to say anything, so that we are done. Have a good evening.